Welcome. How are you doing? How, how is life? Are, are you chilling? Well, if you're not chilling, I'm sorry, but you're about to have tea with me, the talkative. I am the talkative. <laughs> Sakodia celebrated his birthday on the 10th of July 2023. And I must say, Sak is the most loved Ghanaian artist. I don't care what you say, I don't care what you think. I see the works and the actions of people. It might be real, it might be fake, it might be for clout, but it is all a show of love. And I'm in for it. Now, as I said, Sakodia celebrated his birthday, and this one it, it comes right after. Sakodia has been in a very messy situation where people, in fact, I have an, something I want to I want to talk about. Hold on, hold on, okay. Good one. Sakodia is known for, you know, people are saying, say, oh, Muma, and Sakodia is this, and Sakodia is that. So, seriously, this was one of the Sakodia birthdays that I was expecting that the hype of it will be very low. You know, Sakodia usually on his birthday, he seizes the moment, he seizes the atmosphere. Like, you know, everybody is watching Sakodia. So this year, I was like, mm. because of this whole buhaha and people perceiving Sakodia not to be that, uh, you know, clean brand, fatherly figure brand, oh no, it will affect him. But I'm telling you, Sakodia is the most loved. Sakodia might be the most dragged or the most talked about, but people really love Sakodia. Sakodia was trending on Twitter. Sack day, landlord, Sakodia. <laughs> Twitter trend belonged to Sakodia on his birthday. And the laugh was crazy. Now, you can see that the media, the media found various ways, albeit most of them were not created. Hey, Ghana media. Hey, Obi started one thing. We better find you know, the different graphics. Are here. The one thing that was trending so much was. What's your favorite Sakodia song? So if you don't have crazy ideas, hey, <laughs> Ghana. But that was one thing that was trending so much so that people were talking about Sakodia in various ways. People were having fun with Sakodia in the media. People invited their fans to their spaces to come and talk about Sakodia. You could see that Sakodia is, is, is Sakodia. Like, it's not it's not a fluke. Ghanaians love Sakodia. We bash him, yes, but we love him. And honestly, me, I have this thing that I say. When artists are being bashed i don't want them to see it as we hate them i want you to say that whatever thing we think they should be doing we feel like they are good enough to be there so if they are not there that is why you know we not be saying we don't like you but we really really like of course the fans were happy fans were showing their love in various ways and sack natives i feel like when the sack of birthday is their our day too because hey <laughs> enjoyment eh for the success those but they celebrated their birthday and i think one other side that sakodia enjoys that most of the artists like 99.99999% of artists do not enjoy is their colleagues celebrating each other or celebrating them on their birthday even from the old artists up onto the new artists when they are celebrating their birthday there isn't so much love from their colleagues going out for them but for sakodie you can see that colleagues anybody that has had any interaction with sakodie was posting him was wishing him it's like nah nah sakodie has love like i'm not going to sit here and miss my way sakodie has love people love sakodie even people in the media that have tried the people that in the media that we know that they are not they are anti sakodie posted sakodie and showed love like hey <laughs> but happy related to Sakodia. Listen, we open up to Sakodia. Sakodia. For me, I think um the way he is, the way he goes about his stuff. Maybe of course it's not like maybe or any power or no one from so your problematic whatever it is. But he makes people like me liking him easy. Like, I don't have to go and say something about Sakodi and then the next two days, Sakodi has done the opposite and I have to go and retract. Like, no, Sakodi is Sakodi. He makes the work fun for us. He makes talking about him fun. Like, he's a good example in so many ways. And big up to him, big up to his team. Anytime I've met Sakodi, it's been pure love. It's been laughter. It's been kind where Sakodi actually sends me good things like, that he knows can happen to someone like me and and and, and it's love and i i really appreciate someone like sakodim 
Now, let's move on from the sad day to another interesting thing that I've seen in the media. And I want to talk about it. Michael Blankson was in on a show called Million Dollars on the Game in the US. And of course, you know, Michael Blankson is of the opinion that it's not just like there are more names, good talents in Africa that should, are supposed to be out there. But they are not. So, like, whenever he gets the chance, he, he tries to bring it up so that there's a conversation around him. And then on that podcast show, there is this rapper actor called Gilly the King, and then a, an influencer called Wallow 267, and they host the show. So, they hosted Michael Blankson, and Michael Blankson was mentioning some African artists and was asking them if they knew him, them, and then some, most of them, they said no. Some of them, they said, yes, of course, he threw in some Nigerian names, threw in some Ghanaians, then there was Shatawale, there was somewhere, there was Sakodi and all of that. And some of them, the guys there said no. And then for, for the Nigerians, they said yes. Of course, this has started a conversation in Ghana. There's so much we have to do. And this, and our people don't know if we they talk them, they, they, they talk, say we, Bosu. 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 Gilly the King is an actor and rapper. There are so many American actors and rappers you know. You do know Gilly Deckin. If not for this podcast, you, would you have, if not for this video that they shared, would you have known Gilly Deckin? Does that mean he does, he's, not, he's not who he, he is? Or does that mean that he's less of what he is? Or there's so much he has to do because we here, we don't know him. I agree. There's so much more that, if fact, there's so much, in fact, even our artists say there's so much they have to do. But I feel like we put unnecessary pressure from nowhere and give people certain power over our artists. It they bust my brain. Wait, if we, it could even be that that show that he went to sit on, they don't even focus their mind on African artists. And that it, it just happened that Michael Blankson was there. He brought that conversation up. Or maybe because he's passionate about that conversation, they decided to have it with him. There are so many shows online, so many podcasts online that doesn't focus their mind on African music. It doesn't. It doesn't focus their mind on African music. Maybe if there's a trending story around an African artist, or let's say an African artist coming to perform in one of their biggest stadiums, like when a boy did, and then they will talk about it. But really, their focus is not because that American market, it is huge. They haven't even finished exhausting that market. So don't let us put unnecessary pressure on Shatawale, on Sakwadie, on Stoneboy, on Bisakede because some American artists that we also don't know. <laughs> yeah, you, you get that thing. We also don't know that he know them. And then what? And then Obedi is no longer the guy that won the BET. Or what? Or Shatawale is no longer the guy that got featured by Beyonce. Or what? Or Stoneboy is not the guy that has put Kerry Hilsey on, has put so many people on, and people have put him on, and people are claiming that, yo, he's the next thing the world should see. I don't understand. We can't know everybody in this world. Everybody in the world cannot know us. There are people who are global icons. Everybody knows them. Our African artists are global artists. They are working. Maybe they are not icon yet, but they are, they are there. They are working. Those that know them, they know. Yes, I understand. They have to do more. We have, but we, we shouldn't chichiri. When you fall, obi, obi, a yen, yen, po yen, nimu, no. I know, and chichiri pressure, and to, bosu, bosu. Relax. Relax, let me drink milk. Of course, hey. <laughs> By the way, this is my natural hair. Let me drink milk. Of course, hey. I won't go on a yen peto kwa. Listen, this guy is an influencer. He is a uh, rapper actor. There are so many rapper actors in America that I can mention top of mind. This man is not part. They cannot. Uh, come on. They are all there. We know them. Are we saying, or should I say, because I don't know this guy, so what? He's not a rapper actor? Or he's not good? You see? So you see where the conversation is. Yes, I agree. There's much work we have to do. So much. So even the artists agree. But don't let us put unnecessary pressure on them. Especially when Michael Blackson is not finding ways. Michael Blackson and also Wakasa Sa and there. So what 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 uh, have you seen that he has, he has saying that oh I'm going to invest in a talent in Ghana? What is that Wakavida? Oh no, they could see. <laughs> Maybe he'll find a, a talent in the who's talented and push them. 
yes, I agree. Sitting on that platform and mentioning SAC and whatever, it's a bit of a plus. But tell the kind of money and investment that goes into getting your song out there and your project out there. I can they ask you, they don't have oh, Like, they don't have. The little they can is what they can't come to you. So, into my couple, now, would you? It's on your heart that you want to put them so badly. Add money because money speaks, madam. Nigeria, for now, now, Ben Boy, Whiskey, Davido, it's not automatic that they are just uh, money, money, money. So, if you want the same for Ghanaian artists and sometimes you see, add the money and see where it's rich. But until then, let us stop putting unnecessary pressure on her. It is too much. It is too much. Charlie, adding, adding, boss, adding. Charlie. By the way, some Ghanaians are saying some things and I don't understand. Sakwa Dye is touring his damn store and he's been seen performing some of his old songs and the song and he never miss him. When the song dropped, when him said nah, something something different has dropped. And Ghanaians are saying, Oh, Sakwa Dye is performing old songs. <laughs> like what is wrong with that one? And you know no boy, you know. I aspire. In fact, if you need proof that music doesn't aspire. Did you see their reaction when the song dropped? Yeah. It means that if Sakone decides to play a show on his old catalog, it will be one of the best shows because those songs were monster hit. Too. It's not that hit that it's just now that, oh, some people know some, some countries. No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But you see the reaction. If Sakode or our artists say they want to do shows on their old hits, they can do it. Music doesn't inspire. Now, we, they say we give you your own egg. <laughs> they can sell. They can sell. Music doesn't inspire. The song is for the artists. They have every right to perform it anytime, anywhere, anyhow, any who, and you have to enjoy it. Song doesn't inspire. It is their property. They can explore it anytime they want. And please, don't put on realistic things on the artists. They are creative, so allow them. It be crowd, not see what Ghanaians we think is that we are wiser than our artists or the people that work the artists work with. You are, you are not. Maybe you are we are wise in your own way, but you are not wiser than a team of so many heads coming together. Listen, before an artist will go on a certain or in a certain country and go and perform, they do surveys. They see what kind of song is big of their song is big there. They go to their back end Take their music. What song is being soaked there properly in that country? They know what song will pick, which is why Obi to me, it's me friend Obi free. Chiraponi say, oh, what's that artist? Oh no, my head just so a chiraponi. We both show my Why don't they come any anybody randomly? Say come and play. They do survey. Realize that now chiraponi for no, I'm not feeling obedi. But I'm not feeling obedi. Countries and I'm not feeling obedi. You go kill me time. What's your saying? So when Obi is coming, they make Obi prepare that kind of catalog. Come and play anything, and you will feel this. I would do it too. I want to take it now. Anyway, boss, 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 boss. So, no, many of you, many of you, but now later, yeah, follow me. Bye bye. I love you.